Flytrap, and today's episode just has to be about the Metaform contest to find the world's first child astronaut. I'm just completely obsessed with it. This is my friend Della. Hello. It's been a massive week, hasn't it? I mean, personally, I'm still really bummed that Callum went out. Even after he was sick all down himself? Oh my god, especially after that. That poor boy. Well, he's gone. Get over it. It's down to the last three now. Okay, who do you want to win? For me, it has to be Jasmine. Jasmine? She's the one with the coolest head. If I was in space and everything started going wrong, I'd be like, Jasmine, what do we do? Sort it out. Nah, nah, I'm going for Vaughn. Vaughn? For sure. Vaughn can't win. His mom and dad are the ones running the whole thing. What's the point in throwing it open if- But I just find it so inspiring that a kid with muscular dystrophy can make it to the last three of this contest. He's so brave. Well, they're all brave. I mean, they're getting to go into space. Oh, nice. What about me? Don't I get anyone rooting for me to win? Who are these people anyway? It's just a podcast about getting girls and women into science and stuff. And here they are going, oh, I miss Callum and isn't Vaughn amazing? What about me? They're just two randoms with a podcast. It doesn't matter. But they're not the only ones. Look, if you search for Vaughn, you get way more results than you do for me. Yeah, that's because his parents have been famous for years. You've got more than me as well. Lily, are you doing this to be popular with people on the internet or because you want to go into space? I want to be popular with people on the internet because I've gone into space. That's not unreasonable, is it? What's going on downstairs? Are you still grounded, Kyle? I think so. Technically, but Tad's so busy with everything at the moment, he's not really paying attention to what I'm doing. Mine wouldn't notice if I just disappeared. You know, they didn't even suspect that I was the one who nicked those plans. Well, that's good, isn't it? Maddie. I'm just so fed up. I can see how this is going to go. They're going to keep this project going and going, and I'm just going to be stuck here. It's not that bad living here, is it? I know you like it, but it's not the life I wanted. And no one's listening to me. I am. Yeah, sorry, I I know you are. But you can't get me out of here, can you? Vaughan, I need to talk to you. <sighs> okay. I mean, can you stop playing Minecraft while I talk to you? Fine. It's nothing bad. Just get on with it, Mum. Well... See you later. What? Where are you going, Maddie? Over to see Kyle. Vaughan's got his TV interview later, you know. You need to be here for that. Why do I need to be here for that? Because they want to talk to the families, too. Fine. (sighs) Did you want to talk to me about the interview? Yes. I just thought you might like some help. Maybe a bit of practice. Practice? I'm just going to talk about myself. How hard can it be? Vaughan, I've given a lot of interviews and it is not as easy as you think to come across how you want to come across. So, what do you want me to do? Firstly, make sure you don't get drawn into saying anything you don't want to say. Well, there isn't really anything I don't want to say. But sometimes people are looking for a juicy story. Like, they want to build up rivalries or make out you've fallen out with people when you have Oh, I get it. This is about my reasons for doing the contest in the first place. Well, a lot of people online have been saying you only entered to spite us. No, I entered the contest because I want to go into space. Of course, I know that. But I'm not happy that this is the only way I might get to go. I did tell you that. I know. But if you say that in the interview... I'll say what I like. Vaughan, this is important. If you make trouble with this interview, then you won't be going into space. Okay. It's bad enough that you've drawn Lily into this nonsense. It was her own choice. I know you don't agree. Talking about me, are you? Lily, I was about to call you down. I should make a move. Hope your interview goes okay, Jasmine. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Lily, Daniel just told me... 
they want to interview you too. I know they do. I've said yes. You can't say yes. You need my permission. No, I don't. Actually, you do need your mum's permission, and you told us that you had it. Oh, I must have misunderstood the question. I was also hoping your mum would agree to be interviewed with you. I'm not helping to promote your space rocket nonsense. You can say whatever you like about the project. <laughs> as long as it's not slanderous, of course. So I could slag it off if I wanted to. Anything you want to say, you can say it. There you go, Mum. I know what you want. You want to make out there's some big bust-up between me and my daughter, don't you? No, no. Because that would be great publicity for you, wouldn't it? Mum, you're being weird. And now you're taking his side. Fine. Do the interview if you want. But leave me out of it. Hello, Claudia. I'm just checking you and Jasmine are all set for the interview today. Um, yes. Do they need to speak to me? Is there a problem? Well, this is about Jasmine, really, not me. They want to see the families, too. It makes their stories that much more interesting. And you've got a great story. I worry that I'm seen as being too close to this project. You mean after the business with the leaked plan? People did ask serious questions about what I knew. You said what we told you to say and it all blew over. I know, but it got pretty uncomfortable for me. You just have to trust us. Look, Emma, there's a danger of this project falling behind and we can't afford any delays. Well, what's the rush? There's a similar project in China that's been fast-tracked and we don't want them to beat us to the punch. If we've got your support, we can launch first. But if there are any problems, we've got to power through them, not dither around. Sure. I understand. Good. Now, we've got the shuttle arriving today on the ferry, so... Vaughan, can you get the door? Fine. Oh, uh, Kyle. Uh, hello. What do you want? Is Maddie here? I thought she went over to your house. What? Well, she said she was going over to yours. Oh, I've probably missed her. She left about an hour ago. Yeah, I bet she came to my house and I just didn't hear the doorbell. I was probably in the shower. Yeah. Okay. I know where she'll be. I'll just catch up with her now. Yeah, whatever. Bye. Come on. Come on. Hi, it's Maddie. I don't listen to my voicemails because she listens to voicemails. Maddie, please call me back. Please tell me you haven't run away. Please, just tell me you haven't run away. You've run away, haven't you? (laughs) 